Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Got to spend time with your friends, your family. Uh, maybe you filled your bellies up and you have plenty of leftovers in the refrigerator, which we got rid of. Which is one of the reasons why I'm making this video, because uh, I got some splaining to do. Lots of splaining, and I feel like I've made this video uh, maybe at least four or five hundred times uh, on this channel. Because I always say, hey... I'm going to do this and fuck up, go back to my old self, gain a lot of weight, get depressed, get sick, and go back down the same route. So, yeah, I wanted to make this video because of that, because I did post a picture, I believe it was yesterday, of me without a shirt on. And I hope you guys are recovering and, you know, got back from the eye doctor from seeing that. Hopefully, you know, you guys went blind or got sick, but I felt like I needed to post that. Um, so... What's going on? What's going on? Uh, I, I can explain this. I can say the same thing I always say uh, every time and is I fucked up uh, really bad, really bad, like for a couple months. Uh, you guys know that I was trying to lose weight, trying to learn how to fight and all that stuff. And I was all gung ho. I was, you know, making I think I was making weekly updates and, you know, I was telling you guys how it was. I was losing weight, feeling good and. Then I guess it just stopped. Um, and just like things are, you know, and I said from the beginning, I was like, I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail a lot. And I fell to the point where I just stopped. I gave up. So now I'm dealing with neuropathy. Uh, the diabetes is back. Um, depression's back. And, you know, that's my fault. That is my fault. Because I was the one that decided to stop what I was doing. Uh, I was going in the right direction and decided to take a U-turn and go the other direction. Um, I can't blame anybody except for me. I can only blame myself. Uh, I can't blame uh, depression, really. I mean, that could be part of it, but I can't just blame depression and mental health. You know, I have to take uh, command of my own life and be like, hey, I need to fucking fix this or uh yeah i'm gonna die or something not saying i'm gonna die um but i mean it's possible obesity scary diabetes is scary um my feet this morning were purple which you can ask miss bits uh, it's not good it's scary actually uh, i don't want to lose my damn feet so um we went today and if i could i'll show you and i'll probably send a picture we got in our refrigerator, we got in our cabinets, and we get, got rid of all of the stuff that I can't have. Uh, no breaded stuff, no sweets, uh, no, you know, fake food, <laughs> like cookies and all that stuff. Got rid of them. Uh, we gave it to her family and donated the food, which I'll send you guys some pictures if you guys want to see. So, we've been watching yesterday, almost all day, uh, stuff on keto. And I remember making a video about four or five months ago about going on the keto diet. And I had every intention of doing it. And then fat guy me is like, man, I'd rather eat some food and not do anything. Um, and I was trying my best to get, uh, do the keto thing. And I'm not good at it. Uh, and I want to do this. I do. I really do. And I feel like I'm... I'm not doing my part. I'm not helping you guys out any. I'm not giving you guys what you guys want. Like, you want to see me uh, get healthy, not get worse. Um, I want to be happy. I want to live long. I want to prosper. I want to make the channel grow. I want to make friends and all this stuff. And me doing this is going to cause more problems. You know, I fit, they're in my 20s. Uh, late 20s, um, you know, I still had a lot of heart problems, and, you know, that, have, that was all the way until, like, maybe a couple years ago, uh, you know, I had kidney failure, uh, heart, coronary heart disease, I had to get a catheter twice, um, uh, you know, the depression stuff, and it's just all kinds of medical stuff, I, you know, I made a mistake the other day, take, taking a look at, like, uh, the health things, if you have my chart, um, it's, it's an app that allows you to connect to your hospital and you can get on our database and you can take a look at 
past uh, visits, or your health summary, uh, and stuff like that. And it was embarrassing. I actually sit there with my mom on Thanksgiving Day, and I was like, holy shit, man. I am 35 years old, and I have all of this. All of this. And I would show you, but some of it's like, maybe TMI, you don't want to see it. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't mind to show it. Um, it's embarrassing, honestly. But, uh, yeah, may, give you guys a good idea. Uh, I don't want to just be like, hey, uh, I'm, I'm sick every day. And not give you, you know, truth about it. I would at least, at least like to be open with you. Maybe sometimes I'm way too open, which is sometimes true. I'm usually way too open with myself and things that's going on and maybe I shouldn't but I like to be I, ever since I made this channel I made it a goal to be completely open and be honest with you guys um, and you know I, like I said I'm, I'm willing to say that yeah I, I screwed up big time screwed up big time I, I let everybody down because I went back to my old ways and it's really easy to do honestly really easy to do um, and you, I mean, sometimes, like, it, most of the time it's your fault. Uh, and I hate to say that. Um, you have to control yourself. You have to have, um, uh, that ability to actually control yourself. And, you know, the reason why I say that is, and I said this a while back, uh, Chile, one of the, during the early Chile days, Chili once said to me, he said, why can't you control what you put in my mouth? And I reviewed it and said, why can't you control what you put in your ass? And I, you know, it was just recently I thought about that. I was like, you know, Chili's right. I can't control what I put in my mouth. Uh, I don't have the willpower. I'm pretty damn weak. Um, you know, I see pizza. I'm like, oh, I gotta eat me some Giovanni's pizza. Or I see a donut. I'm like, God, I'd love to have that donut or a piece of cake. And, you know, then I look at my blood sugar on, or, uh, my feet now, and <laughs> I did it to myself. So we're doing a keto thing. We watched a bunch of videos yesterday, and I mean, there's, there's saying, um, we're going to do keto and doing, and I think the step of removing all the bad stuff and, from our home, uh, is a help, you know, uh, I guess Thanksgiving was our last hurrah in terms of eat all the shitty food you possibly can. And I'm not saying all shitty food because uh, Thanksgiving food's awesome. Uh, Miss Bits is hell of a cook. And, um, you know, my brother and his wife made some awesome food. And, uh, you know, I, I eat like a pig. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you know, I can't eat as much as I used to. But due to my, I had that surgery a couple of years ago. And, you know, I can only eat a little bit at a time, but it's not the fact that I'm eating, I'm not eating as much. It's the fact that I'm putting really bad things in my mouth and, you know, sugar, uh, sweets, you know, all that stuff. Sugar and sweets and fat, not fats. Fats are good. Fats are supposed to be good. Uh, but, you know, it's eating a lots of bread and stuff like that. And I shouldn't be doing that. Um, but... You know, I watched, we watched a couple documentaries yesterday, and, you know, they had some testimonies from people that uh, did the keto diet and uh, how it helped with their, well, pretty much everything, mental health. It helped a girl, had, a girl and a uh, boy uh, with autism. Um, it, it was really eye-opening, to be honest with you. Now, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing I'm going to tell you. Um, and I said this before, I said this on a community post is I'm going to screw up. I am, I am, you know, uh, even with the support, I'm going to screw up, but I, I'm going to try not to screw up as bad. Uh, I'm going to try not to fail. The goal is to, by this time next year is to be at least, around 230 uh you know right now I weigh 316 pounds I gain weight not good uh but you know i was almost 390 pounds uh, a couple years ago so i mean that helps a little bit uh you know of course i want to get back into the fighting thing and get back to the exercise but i think keto is probably going to have to be 
uh, the thing it helps, and you know, apparently it helps people with diabetes, um, which I have. I have type two diabetes. Um, you know, I right now I take uh, Farxiga and Trulicity. Uh, Trulicity is you take it once a week, and it's an injection. Uh, Farxiga is once a day, uh, which I just ran out of Farxiga, which is not good. Uh, so I need to go to the pharmacy and get that refilled. But yeah, like I, I need to, and you know, I'm not trying to, uh, I, if you guys want to crack the whip and ask me, you know, I, here's the plan. Here's the plan every week, uh, maybe Monday, Monday or Tuesday, I want to put a weekly update. So we'll title it something like weekly keto diet, uh, or weekly bits and pieces getting fucking shape i don't know we'll, we'll find some kind of cool name maybe that's something you guys can help me with we'll start a new series and we'll track it and anytime you know uh, during the week uh if you guys want to give me hell and i know my detractors here, here's the thing guys uh, we know i'm fat you guys know that we know this but don't stop calling me fat that's the only way I'm gonna. That's the only way I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna have to get it in my head that hey, you're a fatty. Um, n nothing is particularly wrong with being a fat person. It's unhealthy. It is. It is. Um, but you know, on the internet, people like to use something, and that could be your ammo. Um, but you know, like I say, you insult me and stuff, and I still love you. Not gonna, not gonna freak out too much, uh, but maybe that will help. Maybe that will put me in the right direction. Uh, I need a fire lit under this ass, <laughs> this big ass. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to maybe this time next year be at least two hundred thirty pounds. I, I think that's reasonable. Uh, I'm here's another thing I'm gonna do, and I cannot cut my beard. I will not cut my beard off. I, I'll let it continuously grow until, well, November the 27th. Now, I might get it shaped a little bit, maybe make it not look messy for work, but uh, we'll let it grow. We'll just let it get longer and longer until, you know, the 27th of 2023. So let's go ahead and say that. Let's, we're not going we're, we're to shave our beard. We're going to do keto. Uh, we're also going to get back into our old hobbies. Uh, of course, mine's gaming. I'd like to get back into some gaming and stuff. Uh, do some gaming streams. But I also want to do things with uh, everybody else uh, as well. Uh, you know, I, I want the channel to grow. I would love, I would have loved it if the channel would have hit 3,000 subscribers by uh, New Year's Day. Um, not going to happen. I don't think we can gain 500 followers in uh, that that much time unless you know we have all bigger channels like uh, sharing or if you have a community page or Twitter or Facebook or something and you're like hey uh, go subscribe to this guy he's really nice he's a good looking dude I, I don't know if I'm good looking but we could try that we can always try that um, f f I also 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 so update uh, I got some emails. Um, thank you for the emails. Uh, I got some emails about the boogie stuff um, and how I covered it. Uh, like I said, I didn't want to be too hard on boogie. Um, boogie still, uh, I still look at up the boogie, but I I do see the problem um, and something he has to fix. Um, you know, and boogie, if you're watching, if you ever want on, you're welcome here. Um, as far as chili goes, I don't know. I'm sure there's going to be more chili content. Um, if you've seen uh, this last week, uh, there's been a lack of chili content. There's actually been a lack of content for most uh, YouTube people that I know. Um, maybe. And there is a problem right now with the blue bacon situation. Uh, I don't want to dig too deep into that. I think uh, the people that's going to cover that is going to cover that. Uh, I already said my piece about it in the uh, Merv video, but... Um, you know, I'm not here to make enemies. I'm here to, well, except for, except for the ones that need to be enemies, right? Like Chili or 
Franklin Serio or some shit like that. Some bully that wants to just cause problems. Then that's when we're going to have the problem. But uh, I wanted to give you guys this channel update. I wanted to let you guys know the plan. Uh, we have a mission. We have a mission. We don't stop. Fucking A, no. But that's not going to be our slogan. Maybe you guys can come up with a slogan. Maybe, maybe. Uh, here's the thing. Let's uh, let's come up with a slogan. Let's put it in a poll. Uh, we'll go ahead and put in the comments uh, what you think the slogan should be. We'll take the best five slogans we get in the comments. And we'll post it on the community page as a poll. And whatever wins in the poll, that will be the slogan. Uh, that will be our slogan. Everybody else has a slogan, so we'll have a slogan. Uh, and it's not going to be, we don't stop. Uh, it's going to be not that. Uh, unless we do it like dyslexic. We say, don't stop, we. No, that don't work either. Or, wait, we don't stop. Stop, don't, we. Yeah, no, no let's not do that. That's That's stupid. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it. If you haven't already, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Also, like I said, uh, let's hear about this, your uh, Thanksgiving. Let's hear about uh, the slogan stuff. Uh, call me a fat boy. Uh, light, light my ass on fire. Um, if you love me or if you hate me, uh, just remember uh, I care about you. Uh, so uh, I don't think I'm a bad person, but you know I try to be good. But be sure, again, if you want to, share this channel. Let's, I mean, it's possible we could get 500, we could maybe get 500 more people subscribed by the end of the year. I mean, that would be insane. So, yeah, that's what we're going to try. That's what we're going to try to do. All right. Bye. Oh, there's a girl called Millie.